All right, should you use a stretch resolution? Well, I'll explain to you why people use it and then you can decide for yourself. Okay, so we're gonna use CSGO as an example, but this can apply to, you know, any other game. Uh, the reason we're using CSGO is it's it's kind of where, you know, people have adapted from it. Most people in CS, well, I don't wanna say most people, but uh, a lot of people in Counter-Strike use uh, stretch resolutions and it's for good reason. Uh, reason number one, the game is not equipped with any sort of FOV slider. So you can't zoom in or out. All right, so I just wanna show you guys really quick what Counter-Strike players are doing by stretching is they're basically just substituting that, right? They wanna be able to look further in. Uh, so aiming down sight. And you know, the other feature they're missing is the uh, FOV slider, so field of view slider. So say if I max this out, for example, you see how everything looks like it's much, much uh, farther away. And uh, Fortnite is also missing this, and you think a, a company that makes as much money as they do would implement this into the game, right? So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. And most of the weapons in this game, for example, the M4A4, there's no ADS, there's no aim down sight. So, naturally, the only thing you can do is stretch the resolution. So you're basically playing a game where you're aim down sight all the time, where, I mean, the alternative is not being able to aim down sight at all unless you buy uh, weapons like the AUG, which do allow you to do that. But they're just, they're not the current meta right now because they cost more money in the game as far as like economy goes. Um, so it's, it's just not really an option for most people. So what they do is stretch it and I'll show you that now. All right. So here we are in a stretch resolution. Now, uh, if you need a tutorial on how to do this, there's one on my channel, um, applies to Fortnite, Counter-Strike, all that stuff. So the difference is it stretches the resolution. So it cuts off some of the sides and, uh, it makes it appear. So it looks like you're zoomed in closer. So you're basically aiming down sight at this point. And it just makes it easier to hit those sort of shots. Um, like I said, it's unfortunate that there's no FOV slider within the game. And there's no aim down sights for weapons like this. Which really, really makes this game feel dated because most modern games do have those things equipped, right? And then one more thing to note is that you'll see improvements uh, as far as frame rate goes in your game by playing a stretch resolution because there's less to render on the sides, right? It's cutting off a piece of your screen. So, um, here, what is this? Yeah, so, oh, you know what? I think I have my FPS capped out. I do. So, we'll set that to zero. So yeah, you'll get, you'll, you tend to get more FPS by using a stretch re resolution. And like I said, it's because it's simply rendering less at this point. Um, so which resolution should you use? And this one's an interesting topic. You should use whichever resolution fits your play style. So for, say you're playing Fortnite, for example, okay? And I'll show a few examples of this in a minute. You have players like Tfue who play on low sensitivity and are basically aim gods, okay, or aim heroes. Um, and then you have people like Nikki 30 who are very, very aggressive in your face, high sensitivity players. So for people like Tfue, for example, he should be playing at a four by three stretch because he's gonna wanna gun people down from a distance because of his lower sensitivity, right? He, he wants to hit those important shots. Nikki 30 on the other hand is going to rush people consistently and build up to them and uh, he's going to be kind of like in their face and this applies to any single game if you're going to be like you're going to be in counter strike and you're going to be one of these people here let me see I can't equip uh, flashbangs but you're going to flash out you're going to want to move quickly and then you're going to be in somebody's face you want them to move as slow as possible right so you can hit those shots Okay, so I just want to go over a few examples with you. Uh, we have Nico, who's a really good Counter-Strike player. 
but he's very uh, he's a very aim heavy Counter Strike player. So he plays at a very low sensitivity, kind of keeps his distance from players. I'll show you an example really quick. Is it Katka? Katka. And then we have a uh, Tfue who plays Fortnite. Obviously, a very good player as well. Plays with the same play style, you know, distance aim hero type of player. Bottom dude. Oh, oh! And then we have uh, players like Apex, who play on a high sensitivity and a net native resolution. Very aggressive player. And he's gonna here, see one. He's gonna count them up, rack them up. There's two. Oh man, there it is. One. Two. How does Mo not respond? Apex is coming through three. Oh, there are three kills stuff. for Apex. Well played by him. And then we have players like Nikki 30 who also play on a really high sensitivity and uh, play at a native resolution. So. Knocked one. One's on me. So, like I said, uh, as far as using which which resolution you should use, you should use the one that fits your play style.